Hello, my name's Mike Tor. Last year, my son and I made a film called Down to the Woods. I'm still in the process of scoring it, but it will be done by the end of the summer, and we plan to release a DVD. However, there's some behind-the-scenes material that's so bulky and lengthy that it probably won't fit comfortably on a DVD, so I thought I'd upload it to YouTube. What you're going to see here is the first of a series uh, showing me doing the foley for the film. It's not something I'd attempted before, and I had no idea what I was in for. You are about to see, if you watch all the episodes I'm going to upload of this, a man slowly going mad over the course of a week. Enjoy. Landscape shot. Down to the Woods was shot on a very low budget in a local country park. Unfortunately, we were right next to the M27 motorway, and even in the woods the traffic could be heard. The overwhelming noise from the cars, boats on the river, and occasional voices of people enjoying an afternoon's walk made it almost impossible with our limited equipment to get a good sound. This was especially noticeable when it came to dialogue, since there was just the two of us, so we couldn't use a third person to operate a boom mic. The dialogue was re-recorded a couple of times. The first was a dialogue replacement session which took place on top of a hill near Andover, and you can see that location on the DVD once it's ready. My own dialogue was done again during the Foley sessions. You might be seeing some of that later in this series. Foley is named after Jack Foley, the sound recordist who first made it popular in the middle of the last century. Basically, it's the process of recording sound effects in real time while watching the film so that they synchronise properly. There are lots of reasons for doing this, but the most common is that it makes the audio mix on the film a lot easier if all the sounds are controllable. In our case, it was mainly because of the poor quality of our location sound. Foley involves a lot of work because you need to get a good quality recording, as well as giving a performance that sounds convincing. All kinds of sounds need to be recorded for a full Foley track, including footsteps, clothing movements, the sound of carried items, objects being dropped and used in various ways, and so on. Now, let's take a look at what I went through when I tried to do all of this for the first time. Okay, so here it is. The Foley Surprise. Uh, trouble is, I haven't got the Foley pit yet. Wix didn't have one. Okay now, look at this. This is only going to get worse. Right, this is just a small collection. I've only just started. So there you go. So um, that is what it's like to be married to a Foley artist. Uh, right, uh, I suppose it's better than motorbikes in the living room or something, isn't it? Anyway, I had a hell of a time looking for a Foley pit, and all I came back with was this lot. But yeah. I've got pea shingle, sharp sand, and golden barley straw. Look at that. Very nutritious, apparently. I don't plan to eat it, though. Uh, I might feed it to the monster, of course, because he's not getting a fee for this film, so I can at least give him some food. He is vegetarian, by the way. In spite of his attack in the film, he's actually very gentle-natured. So, um, there you go. And I've got a couple of buckets for storing stuff in. Next thing I've got to do is dry these out because they tend to be a bit damp when you buy them. So I'll be taking them out later on tonight and keeping them in the house until they're dry on some flat, flat thing. I don't know what I'm going to use actually. But there you go. Fun with Foley and destroying your house. This is my, uh, this is my leaves. What I like to call my foliage. sound of leaves whooshing past as a branch hits you in the face or whatever it does yeah okay so um, the sharp sand is now drying I've dried all the pea shingle and uh, it's time for the the tough job so fortunately I already have the foley pit now so here it is and uh, that's where it's all gonna happen Like having a Zen garden. 
And you know what's really crazy? None of it got used in the end, apart from the straw. All that sand, pea shingle, even the pit itself. Total waste of time. Tonight is um, setting up the microphone night. Yep, I have a whatever it is. I haven't looked and looked to see what make it is. It's a Ramsar, made in Indonesia or something. I don't know. Apparently it's good enough. Oh, it's Panasonic. There we go. Panasonic. Sounds good. So with this, all Foley will be done. And perhaps even some more ADR because my lines are a bit terrible at the moment. I'm not a really good actor. Louis actually better than me. Damn him! So, uh, yeah, so down here you can see the Foley pit ready. Up here is me putting my studio apart so I can get the microphone preamp in for this mic. So let's see how quickly I can do it, shall we? It's, oh, it's now 10 to 10. One thing you definitely need when your eyesight starts to go if you're doing this kind of stuff. Torch. Oh my goodness me. This is Jim. I think I better put him out of harm's way. Okay. It's all wired up. I just have to switch it all on check it works, and then switch it off again so I can tidy it up. Okay, it works. So all I have to do now is switch everything off, tidy it up, and set it up on a stand. <laughs> okay, first Foley test. Interesting. Uh... <clears throat> Okay, this is the, uh, <clears throat> listening back to the first Foley attempt, and I've got one or two problems here. First of all, I've got this massive plastic box sound, so I definitely need to put something under that tray. It's not going to work otherwise. I've managed to EQ it away, um, but the top end is another matter, I'm not sure how much of it we need. It's not a bad sound. I've also got a gate and a compressor on it, um, which is not doing a lot at the moment. Uh, yeah, we'll get there, but I think it's going to need some physical modifications, not electronic ones. There's a long way to go. 